I have with me a special guest tonight. His name is Mr. Ali Sachu, an economist and a special analyst of the Nairobi Stock Exchange. It's a pleasure to have you join us. Welcome Thank to you, the Juliet. Thank now, you. if you could tell us yes. what's all the rave about the Nairobi Stock Exchange. Well, the first thing I'd like to say is the Nairobi Stock Exchange since 2002 has probably been the best performing stock market in the world. Mm -hmm. Okay, from, from 2002 to 2007, before the market sold off, if you'd invested $100 in the stock exchange, you would have returned $787 to yourself. There is no other asset price in Kenya which did performed as well as that, nor are there any other stock markets in the world. So there is a reason for a rave. Not many people know why, mm -hmm. but seriously, it has been an extraordinary performance, and it's created serious wealth for many individuals in this country. Okay. D does the general public know that? I don't think they do, and I think they, they, uh, I think what we need to do is get more statistics out there so people can actually make intelligent choices about their investments. Mm -hmm. But it has serious, it, that, that is a figure that is correct. S&P came out with it. You, go and, you can go and check it if you wish. Okay. Then why, why are Kenyans skeptical about getting into the stock exchange? Um, we, we get new investors getting into IPOs without much of a clue, yes. so to speak. I think uh, Kenyans are getting less and less skeptical. I mean, in 2002, we probably had about 20,000 investors in the stock exchange. Today, we have close to a million. Well, that's a tremendous growth. Yes, that is a phenomenal figure. Yeah. I think, you know, people for a long time thought it was the redoubt of the Wabenzi, the very well off in our economy, but it isn't. They've yeah. democratized the Nairobi Stock Exchange in a way which is fantastic. Today, if you want to buy a million shares, yeah. and I want to buy 100, I am treated the same way. The mm. computer does not distinguish between you or me. A year ago, if, yeah. you, if I was buying 100 shares, most brokers would probably not bother to instruct that trade. Okay. Right? So that, that said, what are the primary reasons of getting into the stock exchange? Well, the first reason is our, our stock exchange is in a super growth phase. Yeah. You know, our economy is growing at 6.3% in the first quarter. If we're all Chinese, they'd be talking about us on the front page of The Economist. We're okay. not, they're not, but they will be. Right. So I think you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your family, you owe it to you know, you owe it in terms of money management for yourself. I mean, it would be ridiculous mm. if you continue to not uh, focus on what has been an extraordinary story. Yeah. You're launching your website tomorrow. What's yes. the name of the website? My, the name of the website is www.rich.co.ke. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, I wrote a book called Anyone Can Be Rich, and yeah. I do believe it. I mm -hmm. think today people talk about, uh, you know, our d uh, democracy, but it's also about economic liberation. Yeah. And more important, today, if, if, you know, if you earn 5,000 shillings, somebody can come along with some very small gift and probably buy your vote. Yeah. Now, if you've made some sensible economic decisions, you don't need that small gift. You can make an intelligent decision. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to say. The website's about empowering people to make better decisions, yeah. which are going to make their futures brighter. Yeah. What else have you highlighted? In the, the, in the website? The fast steps of getting into the Nairobi Stock Exchange. Well, I, I think the easiest way right now is to apply via the IPO process. I know there are massive oversubscriptions. Your program just showed it with True. Kenya Re. Yeah. But nevertheless, Kenya Re today is at 17 shillings and 80 cents. They yeah. sold it to us at 9.50. Whatever you got, you yeah. doubled your money mm -hmm. in the space of four weeks. Okay. Okay. That kind of performance, I'm sorry, you can't find it anywhere else. Yeah. yeah? What else do you feature in the website? I have a daily commentary on the Stock Exchange. I have an opinion. I might be right, I might be wrong, but I'm giving an opinion. And I feel that there are not many people who are commentating on the direction of the market. People mm -hmm. are sort of given raw data and not told how to interpret it. So I'm trying to do a bit of that. I mm -hmm. worked for many years in the city of London mm -hmm. and I'm trying to impart some of my knowledge to, to my fellow Kenyans. Okay. Moving on, I've learned that it is ideal for you to yes. invest in the stock exchange yes. while you're still in a suitable state yes. to earn. Yes. Would you add anything further? Well, I, I would say that's quite correct. I mean, you know, obviously if you don't have disposable income it's very difficult and you'll probably need to sell stocks at the wrong time to raise it. You know, the mm. stock market becomes very weak in front of the school holidays because yeah. everybody starts selling the sh shares to pay school fees. Yeah. So you've got to be aware of those internal cycles. Yeah. But what the lesson my mother told me, which I think is the most important one, which I'll remember today, it's not how much you earn, it's how mm. much you save. Mm -hmm. And then it's about what you do with that saving. Mm -hmm. If I am doubling my savings every year yeah. and you're overspending, mm -hmm. I'm going to be incredibly better off than you are in five years' time. So do right. you think that the idea that you need to s uh, save on a minimum of over 10% Absolutely. You've got, you've got to can. save something. You yeah. really do. And a then minimum of 10%. Minimum of 10%. Yeah. The more you save, yeah. the m in fact, it's, a, it's something that people don't like to know, but 
the more consumption you deny now mm -hmm. creates a bigger pool of savings for yourself and mm -hmm. allows you to consume much more, much further down the line. But you know, when we're young, we want a flash car, we want this, we want that. Mm -hmm. Deny it now and mm -hmm. you'll have a very flash car later on. Okay, we're out of time, but yes. could you quickly give us any last word of advice? I, I would say for several things. First of all, there's a Muhammad Ali, I remember in the fight when he goes down, he's fighting George Foreman and he stands there and says, impossible is nothing. Yeah. Nothing is impossible today mm -hmm. in our country. It's mm -hmm. the best time to be here. It's mm -hmm. a privilege. It happens once or twice in a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Grab that opportunity. Don't miss it. Okay, well said. Thank you very Thanks. much. That's it for Mass and Business News. Belinda and Louis are next, though, with more news. Stay on Citizen. Is brought to you by Corporate Reach. Powered by Telcom Wireless. Efficiency. Extended affordability.